This is the colony for Stormbridge Elementary Maple Syrup that we've collected over the past three weeks. This one right here in three days produces an average of five gallons. We'll get a whole bucket full like this in three days. So this goes into the tree. Then you just hook this little tube up right onto this. Then gravity and nature does it. And it has to get above freezing during the day. So above 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And then it has to get below freezing during the night. And what that does is it expands and contracts the tree. Oh, so it'll doing? pump it out more. Oh yeah, it tastes like sugar water. In here, it's one part sap, one part of what can be used to make syrup to 20 parts just water, plain water. So that's why most of it just turns to ice like this when it gets cold. Boil the water, boils off, leaving only the part that can be used to make edible maple syrup. Um, kids are applying math into this um, by understanding what the ratios are of maple syrup to water and maple syrup to sugar even. Um, they're understanding temperature and how to keep um, the constant temperature of the stove going. We want to keep it between 170 and 219. We've collected so far, out of all of them, I'd say about 65, 70 gallons of sap. That's just out of 10 trees. Once we're done with it, we just take the pan off, put it up on one of those chairs, and turn the spout and then it just lets the maple syrup run into our jars. It takes 20 gallons to make a 22 one, gallons. 22 make. gallons to make one gallon of maple syrup. Most people haven't actually had maple syrup. They've <laughs> had fake syrup, which is called pull syrup. Yeah. So what you're seeing today is the work of about two months of getting ready, of researching, three weeks of collecting the sap, and then finally getting to this point where we can actually boil it down. So this is the big hurrah of a lot of hard work.